So, remember, no hope for the hopeless. In other ways, how to effectively influence the world, the real politic, in a true manner. You are either born into certain variables that I will mention later, or you build them through strenuous and hard work throughout your life. Now, this is the Mathematical Theory of Communication by Claudia Shannon and Warren Weaver. It is used in communication theories, but it may be applied to social sciences as well. So, we may look at the basics of it, the communication system and its problem, the information source. For example, right now I'm the information source, and I use the media as the transmitter. The signal is traveling throughout, let's say, limited channels. And there is noise source, for example, the cars driving there, so that you might not quite understand what I'm talking about, because the cars might be disrupting it. The received signal is what you understand and what you get. And as a receiver, you may be receptive to what I say, ignore it, or carry on with your life, and so on. The message is the whole sequence of information that I put forth, and the destination is you, my dear friend. Now, how does it work in more complex environments? For example, in systems. So, hmm, let's say that we have a network like this of information traveling. And there is one graph that I wanted to show to all of you. And... Uh, Let's see, the correcting device, that was, ah, this. So let's say that this is one signal, one communication that is reaching several recipients, for example, subscribers of my channel, and they may have reasonable effects from each M towards you. Now, high probability messages, we are bombarded by information every day, and the reasonable causes for each E and high probability received signals, we tweak it. So, uh, depending on the information you get, this is the kind of beliefs you will have, the, depending on your trust towards uh, messages, towards news, media, and so on, so on. And that will influence you in a way you want it to influence you or not. That's the basics of social engineering. However, I've conjured a little bit of a program here and I picked the following uh, attributes or variables. How to really, how to change things in the world. Well, let's say that status, network, wealth, power, reach, trust, executive, information noise, receptiveness and broadcast command on a given population is assuring that you will change it. So we can enter the values from 0 to 10 and then pick the selected population. So, what is my status as a citizen? Let's say zero. What is my network? I have some network of friends, let's say one. What is my wealth? Let's say I am a precariat, so that's a one. Then value for power, a zero. I have no effective power. Value of reach, let's say one, because I can reach some people. Value of trust, whether they trust me or take me for a metomaniac or an idiot, I do not know. So let's be safe and put zero. Uh, executive, or oh, turning theory and effective communication into the executive, let's say zero. Information noise, it is quite high, so let's say if two. Uh, receptiveness of people, let's safely assume that it is zero, they go on with their lives. The broadcast command, let's say one, because I'm broadcasting. And the population affecting, let's say that we will take the number of subscribers for my YouTube channel plus uh, my friends, so that will be around 510 people. And the amount of people I may not necessarily influence is 306 persons. And the communication breakdown goes here, because the more they convey my information to others, the, well, the more the slope goes down of probability of actually influencing anything. 
Did I influence 306 people? Not necessarily. Out of this, there's a small percentage that might get what I'm talking about. However, that is also a point that usually proletariat like me and others are fucked in the ass by those who score high on these uh, particular uh, variables and uh, only by building those variables or by being inborn into them you may actually make things happen the last is power politics and all that so uh, stop wasting your time on social networks and all that and try to acquire these if you have a vision because otherwise you might break people down if you have a true vision, a true reform on your mind, go on for that. Or you can use theurgy and high magic to influence it. That increases the kind of grey eminence thing. However, in the real life, if you are dispossessed of uh, such variables, you mean as much as nothing. And you may tell that I will focus on my life and I don't care about that. But people who score high on this fuck you in the ass and you're the subject of power. Everyone is a subject of power, whether you like it or not. Thank you.